Hi everyone and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm going to show you different ways on how you can use one stamp set. I'm going to focus on this lovely stamp set with the poinsettias. This is by Waffle Flower. You will get poinsettias in different sizes and some of the designs do match together so you can layer one on top of the other for a dimensional look. And I'm going to take advantage of that for uh, today's cards. Now, I do have the combo, so I have the matching dies as well. There is also a sentiment in this stamp set, so you can use that for all the cards. I'm just going to play around with other sentiments that I have in my stash. For my first card, I did some stamping. I colored everything with alcohol markers. On the big poinsettia, I only shaded the leaves. The center is just a solid red color. Here, I also did shading. And on the small one I did shading as well. For coloring I used my triplet markers and I just used two markers. For the um, red ones I went with coral blend and for the green ones I went with alpine green blend. These are very convenient to use since I get uh, light, medium and dark in one barrel. Now I'm going to use the matching dies and cut out all of those three designs. And by the way, I didn't show you how I did the coloring because sometimes I just stamp away new images from stamps that I get and color them while watching TV. So I'm not doing uh, the coloring on my craft room. That's why I had this pre-colored from a previous day. But in any case, I just did some quick coloring and you will see that in the close-up photos. Now, if you place one on top of the other, they are going to match perfectly and it's going to turn dimensional. And you can see I did color red the bottom layer, although it's not going to show. However, since it is dimensional, I don't want to have an empty space underneath the mid layer. To add dimension on my poinsettia, I'm using foam tape in between all those layers. So this is going to turn lovely dimensional and it is a great embellishment for any card. So it's just a matter of putting the card together. I have a few panels here and uh, I'm going to stick the white on top of the glitter gold one. And this has a lovely shape all around. For cutting all those uh, layers, I did use the Lazy Layers die by Waffle Flower. This is a set of dies that uh, I have been using throughout the year a lot. And these have stitching or a lace edge. Now I do have foam tape at the back of this and I'm going to stick it on top of my card base. By the way, I'm creating an A2 sized card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. You have plenty of space to stamp a sentiment or die cut something and stick it there. I will go with one from the Wonderful Christmas stamp set, which I'm going to emboss with glitter gold embossing powder and die cut it with the matching die. Now keep in mind that if you use glitter embossing powder, it's not going to be to turn out super smooth. It is going to be quite chunky and uh, it is going to work for this sentiment since it isn't very fine or the um, font isn't very thin. However, if you are trying to catch the detail of a very thin and small uh, uh, sentiment, then it's good to go with the fine embossing powder. You will see in the photos at the end that this is going to turn out quite rough, which was the look that I was going for since I wanted to match the texture on the sentiment with the texture of that um, glitter cardstock that I used as one of my layers. Now I do have the matching dies for this sentiment, so I'm going to cut it out so that I can pop it on my finished card. And of course another way to go was to stamp and emboss the sentiment directly on top of your panel. You can embellish by using some sequins or even some gems and pearls, just scatter them around. I'm going to keep this card quite simple as it is. After all I do have lots of shine from that layer of glitter cardstock. You can make similar cards by adding even more poinsettias, just create two or three of them to create a little composition. So for the first idea I just stamped with black ink and colored in. Now this time I'm going to do embossing. And I'm going to keep my poinsettias mainly gold and white. So first of all I'm preparing my surface, I'm working on an inner solar white cardstock. I did prep the area with my powder pouch just to remove any static electricity. I'm now using a embossing ink. I'm going to stamp some of the poinsettias and some of the leaves from the same stamp set. And then I'm going to apply on top my gold embossing powder. Again here I'm using um, 
glitter gold embossing powder which is quite chunky but I absolutely love the shine on it. Then I also use the matching ties to cut out all these designs and I'm using an alcohol marker this time that is off-white, kind of pale yellow. I'm just going to add some strokes coming from the center towards the outside of those leaves, making sure that I don't cover it up completely and having most of the areas white. This is going to add some shading. And when I create my little composition aligning these white pieces, they are going to stand out against each other. Now here I grabbed my gold cardstock and I'm going to cut out a little frame. For that I used two rectangle dies, one inside the other, and I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. It's a very simple element to create, but it really takes your card to another level. Now for my panel I went with dark green and I embossed my sentiment with gold embossing powder. Now, just because I want to darken up somehow that uh, green panel, I'm going all around the edges with Distress Ink. This is not oxide, so it's not going to give a chalky finish, but it is going to darken up the edges, just keeping the center lighter. It is an effect that I absolutely love, and if you want it more dramatic, you can even add a touch of black to the very edge. And now I have all the elements ready to go. I'm going to put my card together. I'm using my barely art glue at the back of that uh, little frame and I'm going to stick it there. It kind of frames the whole card and it brings that touch of elegance. Dark green with gold is a perfect combination along with white on top for a Christmas card. And I'm going to grab my poinsettias as well as the leaves that I cut out and I'm going to try and play around to find the perfect composition. And I don't know about you but I can play with cutouts for ages trying to decide how it looks better. But the truth is that no matter how you put them together they are going to look just fine. I did use some foam tape at the back of my poinsettia just to make sure that I have some dimension which I absolutely love and then for the standalone leaves I'm just using glue at the back however I did add some dimension on these leaves by curving the tips of the leaves up. I'm going to embellish this card by adding some gold sequins I'll just scatter them around the card as well as at the center of my poinsettias and here are some close-up photos on the second card for today. Notice in this photo how chunky the embossed sentiment is. This is just because I used glitter embossing powder. If you want a smoother effect, you can go with fine embossing powder. Now let's move on to the third card for today, again using the Poinsettia stamp set. This time I'm working on vellum. Now this is quite of a thick vellum. You can use any vellum that you have however. I like this one because it is quite sturdy. And I'm going to do the same thing as I did for the first card. Stamp three of the designs so that I can stack one on top of the other for a dimensional element. This time however I'm going to stamp with embossing ink and then I'm going to emboss all the designs with gold embossing powder. So mainly I repeated the same idea as I did for the first card to create a poinsettia embellishment but out of um, vellum. And you'll see that although the embellishment is actually pretty much the same, it gives a completely different look. I stamped the sentiment on a white piece of panel. I did use a very thin strip of uh, golden cardstock to separate the two cardstocks, the red and the white background. And now you can either use a white cutout at the back of your poinsettia which is going to make it look more bright or for a softer look you can use it as it is without the backing, without the white backing. Again for this poinsettia I did use tiny pieces of uh, foam tape at the center in between all those layers and I'm going to cover them up completely at the end by sticking a little gem at the center. You will see that it's not going to show. Now at the back I'm using foam tape on one side of my poinsettia and on the other side I'm going to use glue just to make sure that it is nicely leveled since I do have that white uh, layer stuck with foam tape as well. So here are my golden gems. I'm going to stick the larger of the ones that I have at the center of my poinsettia and then I'm going to scatter a few here and there. Again, a very simple design, but gives a completely different look than the other two cards. 
Make sure to always play around with the stamp sets that you have to use different techniques and different color combinations for completely different looks although you use the same stamp again and again. And I'm going to share one more idea. You can cut out these poinsettia layers out of pattern paper and stack them one on top of the other for a completely different look. So here are all the three cards that I made for today using the same poinsettia stamp set. Just like always, you will find links down below to everything I used for creating those three cards. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment down below, as well as like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all so much for joining me today, and I hope you will have a lovely day!